Hi, Mike King here. Goodness, what a week it has been for the VOA family. It's been it's been an active week, a busy week, uh, and in some ways a great week, and in some ways a challenging week. First, the great stuff. Goodness, we gave Jatrice Mataro Gator a wonderful send-off, a wonderful send-off, but she is officially retired as of now. As of now, she is officially retired and on her next adventure. We threw a great retirement party for her this past week, thanks to her team. Her team did a fantastic job. We hadn't seen that many people people around our office since the pandemic. It showed just how much everyone loves Jatrix. It was fantastic. You could literally feel the love in the room. Even even Mike Boyd, our new vice chair of the, of the board and his wife, Deborah, came in just for this to really kind of honor Jatrix. And that's the way everybody felt about this. Everyone there at that event that night it was a wonderful reception, really was there to honor her, and you could just feel that and sense that. And she was she was taken back. She was taken back. She she she, she was emotional, absolutely loved it, uh, and we loved watching her love it, and at the same time said, you know what? We're all staying in touch. We're all staying in touch. So so remember, you're still a part of the VOA family uh, forever and ever, and so we're going to just watch her next adventure and enjoy it with her, uh, knowing that, you know what? We're there with you all the way. So that's how we began the week, literally. Now, as far as wrapping up the week, we've had some damage from, from the hurricane, from Hurricane Helene in Asheville, North Carolina. We have literally four housing properties there. Uh, they, they've had serious damage, loss of, of water, lights, electricity, those kinds of things, power. Uh, they, they've been dealing with everything. About 134 residents there, some who are disabled. So, so, so they've, they've been so challenged. And so we had really a group call towards the end of the week with our sort of key staff people from both Vones and, and for Volunteers of America Incorporated, really led uh, and help, helped organize by Margaret Rackley, who of course lives in Asheville, North Carolina, right where everything hit. That's where she lives with her, with her daughter and grandkids and couldn't get back there, couldn't get back there for, for, for most of the week. They are, they are dealing with it in a, in a hands-on way. She and June Cagle and Russ Snyder have all kind of took took a leadership role in, in, in pulling our team together from, from, from around the country, but specifically from right there in North Carolina, and they are rallying the troops. They are rallying the troops, identifying what items are needed, what kind of donations are needed, those kinds of things. If you want to know how to help, check the VOA website. They've done a great job putting together a really a project there where you can see the damage that's done, see the needs, and find a way to help. So that's that's what we need you to do. We're we're going to stay on this until we satisfy the needs of not only not only our residents of of, of our properties, but also our staff. Our staff is right in the right in the middle of this. So we're going to be working on this for the next several weeks trying to generate as much support as we can to really show that we are, in fact, the love business and we're there when you need us. And this is something that, you know, the Volunteers of America family does better than anyone I've ever seen, that I've ever witnessed. So thanks to all of you for, 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 for what you will do for, you, for your past responses. We need your response now. You can feel that love and compassion and be ready to help. Take a look at that website and here we go. So God bless you. God love you.